So I mentioned in a video about setting up a hard drive with UEFI and for multiple Linuxes and talked about making a FAT32 partition for the bootloaders. I mentioned that I'm using way too much of the 512 um, that because I'm constantly taking and adding um, adding and subtracting Linux distros for testing that there's probably a lot of crap in there and I need to clean it up. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to clean it up. So in the terminal command, the first thing you want to do is sudo EFI boot manager and I'm going to add a link to a, um, a website that has these commands on it. So, so I'm not going to add all these commands. I'm just going to give a link to a website that I use. Here, let me bring it up real quickly. Um, that has all the different EFI commands. And it even shows if you if if you don't have it installed how to install it with different um, different distros, different um, non Debian based distros. This is LMDE that I'm on, so obviously it's it's uh, Debian based. So we'll start with sudo yeah boot manager now. I have like four and this is the list so it's a mess there is a bunch of crap now if it, anything that has an asterisk is active and still alive out there so Okay, and besides doing this, I'm going to actually go into the the directory and see if there's any in there and clean that up. Um, so, the command and uh, you know, let me Always forget whether it's little b before first or big b first. So deleting little b boot number and then uh, capital B. Um, I'm going to try deleting two at once first and see if that works. So one f and two zero. The those are not being used. Um, so I'm going to start with those. Oh, Fedora. Oh, that's forever ago. That needs to be deleted. Um, so a little b. Let's go zero, 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 zero. Let's put one more and see if it lets me do two at a time. I've never done this. I don't know why it says Fedora is active, even though I know I don't have a Fedora on here. And then I'll do 001F. And then uppercase B. Let me see if it lets me do more than one at a time. So 000 is gone. And 001F is gone. No, it's not. It didn't do it. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have them do them one at a time. See if I can pause this. 
do a bunch. Okay, so I deleted everything without an asterisk. Now I'm going to look at some of these things and see what can I get rid of that has an asterisk. Um, I certainly so here's my MX USB CD ATB I, I'm gonna get rid of these the ATPI Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the Ubuntu and that bottom MX-19. Now, I know I'm, I'm running MX, so the boot order is 001E. So this is the MX it's using. So I know it's not using this one. Um, oh, I'm going to leave Ubuntu because that could be Linux Mint. Um, Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that just in case. But I'll get rid of this. And Debian is probably LMDE. All right, well, that's looking pretty good. Um, certainly trimmed down quite a bit. Let's see if it actually made a difference. I don't think it makes any difference at this point to what's on the drive itself. So let's do a view. Oh, what is it? Refresh drives. Taking a while to find things. Well, it's looking at that. Okay, so these all live on slash boot slash EFI. Now, if you look at that, not a whole lot there. This is where the bootloaders actually live. Okay, so leave Debian alone. We're going to leave Grub alone. Um, oh, I always forget whether it's capital R or lowercase r. And I'm definitely going to get rid of Perl. I'm going to leave, and I'm definitely going to get rid of that MX-19. Okay. So, it didn't... 
yes, it did. What was it, 476 before? So it did help, but I don't know if that's because while I was deleting those, let's take another quick look at it. I'm going to have to look at the video again to remind myself whether it did it or not. <laughs> Now, if you've got a lot of drives, a lot of partitions, I'm letting it run and showing you how long it takes to run because this is actually quite normal. And these are SSDs. So, here we go. So, it cleaned up a little bit. Not a lot. Um, so either Linux Mint or Ubuntu one of those is not necessary but I'm not going to mess with it at this point anyways it's still quite a bit cleaned up Well, that's quite a bit better. Mostly, as you see, it's got other drives. Um, probably delete those, but doesn't seem to be making a difference in terms of uh, um, how much space it uses. So that's how you clean up your EFI partition. I'm going to boot. If I put this uh, video out there, it means it worked. If you don't see this video and you see and I recreate a whole video f fixing things then um, you'll know it didn't work.